Hello everybody, it's me Chang here, and oh, welcome to the third episode of the Undertale Pacifist Run. Um, I hope you guys are having fun so far, I'm definitely having a lot of fun, and uh, let's continue with the story. On the last episode, we, um, let's see, we, we, we traversed through some puzzles, we met Nastablook, the friendly, uh, strange, awkward ghost, and uh, we, uh... We, um, donated some money. Well, not donated. We bought some stuff from the, uh, spiders. Because, you know, we didn't miss it. The spider bake sale is down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. And that's what we did. So we got some, a spider donut and some spider cider. And we're ready to move on. So what do you got to say, Mr. Froggy, with your testicles out? Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Dot, 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 dot. Well, at least you listen to me. If you press X to his conversation, not like I'm about to do right now. Um, here we go. Oh, not you too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. I like that. I like that. I like how the dialogue changes based on what you do in this game. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard that using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Oh, that, that sounds quite troubling. Quite troubling indeed. I don't know what F4 is either, because, you know, I'm, this isn't a video game, this isn't a computer game or anything like that. What do you got to say, Mr. Third Froggit? Ribbit, ribbit. I heard, I've heard that you are quite merciful for a human. Thank you, Mr. Froggit. Surely you know by now that a monster wears a yellow name when you spare it. Uh, what do you think of that? I think it's very helpful, or it's bad. Well, I mean, we don't, we already know it, so it's not super helpful, but I wouldn't say it's bad, so I'd say it's more helpful than bad. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Oh, are we foreshadowing something, Mr. Froggit? Ring! Help! Hello! I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need! Someday you might see something you really like. Oh, is that so? We'll see what happens. You will have to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. All right, Toriel. You always spewing off words of wisdom. So there is just one switch. All right, there's only one switch. Maybe it's this one. Is it down in this hole? No, but looks like there's a carrot or something. Oh, it's actually a monster. Who would have thought? Vegetoy comes out of the earth. Oh, no, we don't want to fight you. We don't want to fight you. No, fighting is bad. Fighting is bad, guys. You know, violence is bad. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Uh, Vegetoid. So we're going to act, um, we want to check, talk, devour dinner. I say dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. All right, I will eat my greens. And by that, we'll grab the green one. Also, you can see I took some damage when I was, uh, grinding the, for some G in the last episode. Uh, I'm not perfect, guys. I ain't perfect. Vegetoid's here for your health. And that means we can spare it. And we got four gold, which would have been nice because <laughs> it took a while to farm some gold in the last uh, last episode because the only things that gave us gold are froggates and they weren't as um, abundant as I would have liked. What's this? This is, uh, you found a faded ribbon, which is, uh, I believe, uh, some kind of, uh, armor. So, uh, we can equip that. And, uh, we used it and we equipped the ribbon. And, uh, our old armor was a bandage, which uh, I don't think would have helped too terribly much. And that, that's just me as a, you know, this is a, as a, as a regular bandage wearer, it's not great armor. I, it, especially, in, you know, in these kind of games. Oh, we got, we ran into another enemy. Let's see. Looks drew near. What do we want to do? Oh, we're not, we don't want to fight you. Uh, let's see. Well, we can either check, pick on, or don't pick on. Somehow I think that we don't want to pick on it because we're we're, no, we're, we're friendly we're fr we're a friendly human we're a friendly um um ambiguously gendered of uh, uh, human so we're we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna pick on you. M Chang is a nice person. Finally someone gets it. All right then why are you attacking me? I didn't pick on you, man. Oh jeez. Okay we're good. Luke's gnashes his teeth. And we're gonna spare you and you're gonna give us five gold even more 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 bountiful than our um our uh, vegetoid friend. Uh, what, what do we got in here? Let's see. Is this it? Perhaps it is, and it is. Here's the switch. So uh, we activate the switch, and let's go back up. But let's explore all the holes just in case. So we got this one, and uh, what do we got in this one? Hey, it's Nabstablook. Oh, buddy, let's be friends. Uh, what's the voice for Nabstablook? I already forgot. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. All right. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat, Nasty Look. Uh, apparently, apparently, I mean, apparently, floating your boat is, you know, floating you because you're a ghost. Because ghosts float. All right, so let's go. Uh, there's nothing down there, I guess. And uh, what about this one? Oh, more random encounter. All right, we know what the deal is with looks. Let's let's get past this. 
All right, we're back here, and uh, let's see. What do we what do we got in this hole? Um, oh, looks like another Vegetoid. Let's fight you, Vegetoid, and uh, we're gonna skip this too. All right, took care of the Vegetoid. Let's uh, we got four gold, and let's move on to the next area. All right, so here we go. Here's a fun little thing. The far door is not an exit. It's simply much rotation in perspective. I don't quite fully. I mean, I get what it means, but like, I don't. I don't see. I don't. I can't. I can't visualize it in my head in a 3D plane. Is what I'm trying to say. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Well, there's a red one. And a green one, but the blue one is over behind this pillar. If this, oh, we got a new enemy. Um, let's see, what's it called? It's called a Mig Migosp. My Gosp. I don't know. Whatever. I. It, it's something. It's definitely something. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta get rid of this Vegetoid first because we know what to do. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. And um, heed the swarm. Eat your greens. Well, we're gonna eat the greens, and uh, we won't heed the swarm. Oh, we got hit. Dang, 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 dang. All right, so let's spare the Vegetoid. Being me is the best. And uh, he just dances right here. Hey, man. Oh, you heard us. Oh, I, I didn't know. I want. I was testing it out because I was like, I, I, I never really, really tried to do that before. But anyways, if you, if you, uh, if you check it, cause, which tells you information about any enemy that you want to check, my gosh, or whatever. Attack seven, defense five. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. So basically, if you get rid of everything around it, it just decides to, you know, be itself and dance. And I think that it's adorable. It's adorable, you little rabbit. Um, uh, maybe your face isn't quite adorable, but you know, you're, you're a little rabbit thing, so let's, let's, let's spare you. And we got six gold. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so anyways, the blue switch, I believe, is behind this one. Did it say blue? Maybe it said green? Oh, yep, it was blue, because uh, there's a green one over there. Let's go into this one, and we read this sign. What's it say? Um, if you can read this, uh, press the red switch. Okay. And press, oh, uh, come on. Press the red switch, we will. Looks, alright, looks, get the hell out of here. Alright, we got looks out of the way. Let's press this red switch, and we going on to the next room. And, uh, which one we gotta press over here? Uh, um, if you can read this, press the green switch. I forgot which one the green switch is. I believe it's the middle one, but we'll find out. Oh, we got more Vegetoid and, uh, My Gosp, uh, My Gosp, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, combo. So let's let's get rid of these guys. All right, we got six gold, and uh, yeah, we gotta press the green switch, which I believe is this one. And we hear a clicking sound. So you know, we did it right. We did it right. We did it right. All right, man, another random encounter. And uh, let's just uh, okay, this is a pretty easy one. So you know, freaking mold small, just you know, get spared immediately. And then we got the little my gosh. So uh, spare you, and uh, yeah, let's go on. Let's go on. What do we got? What do we got? All right. Uh, let's see, let's move on to this way, um... Oh, hello, Froggit, Mr. Testicle Froggit. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel coming out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Well, why not? Toriel's very friendly, at, well, at least we think, at least so, so far we think. You found the toy knife. Alright, so, uh, that's another, uh, weapon thing, cause, uh, even though we don't really, we don't really fight in this game, but, uh, you know, I like to equip the new weapons, just cause, cause our old weapons are a stick, and I feel like a toy knife is at least a little bit more intimidating. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to, uh, <clears throat> the next little area here. Let's see what we got over here in this area. Mm-hmm. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. You don't say, Toriel. Oh, you're trying to call us, but we're right here. Hey, Toriel. How, how, did, how did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. All right, we're going to come this way. And, uh, oh, another save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gave me determination. All right, and we're gonna save. Uh, what do we got for time here? Uh, all right, I think that's an. Uh, no, we'll go a little bit further. We'll go a little bit further. All right. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold up a snail pie for tonight. Well, thank God, because I don't really want any snail pie. Here, I, I have another surprise for you. Oh boy, I love surprises. This is it. Oh. I like how you grabbed her hand for literally that, like, two-second walk. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, how nice, petting my, petting my head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. All right, well, let's check out a little room. Oh, it looks very nice. Very nice in here. Let's see. Uh, let's, exa let's check out the room. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Huh, that's a little interesting. A dusty photo frame. A, b a box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Why do you have so many kids' shoes? Is um, 
Are you alright, Toriel? Something going on? Oh, and um, you can turn off the light, which uh, makes a little night nighttime version of the same song, which I think is a nice touch. Very nice touch. So let's see. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. Yeah. I mean, we're we're not we're not really we're not up for toys. We're just we're just kind of we're just kind of we just we we're, we're more of the hiking kind of type and fall down into a world of monsters kind of deal. So let's uh, let's go let's take a little nap. And uh, it looks like we got some pie. All right, we got um we found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie because apparently you know that's just a Toriel specialty butterscotch cinnamon pie. And uh, yeah, and uh, so we took our nap and uh, I think uh, that's gonna call it for the episode here. What? Uh, what motives does uh, Toriel have? Because she has a bunch of kid shoes, and this it looks like this room has been set up for a while. We don't know that. I mean, she was gone for a while, so who, who, who knows? Maybe she was just getting groceries. Maybe she was setting this up, or maybe this has been here for a very long time. We don't know that. So I'm going to end the episode here. Um, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, it really keep me motivated to keep doing these videos and share the video with the world because that would be awesome to help the channel grow a bunch. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for all sorts of content, including the rest of this Undertale run, and I'll make sure that you stay entertained. So until the next video, guys, I've been Mi Chang, and uh, see ya.